Yeah, going to、uh, continue on with my、uh, scenario. This is、uh, July eighth. It's about two weeks、uh, since the invasion of Russia.、Uh, Because as I said, this game is too massive. You know the battlefront. So yeah, so all the Russians need to do is just to、uh, make it stand, take a defensive posture. And since I'm not familiar with the game mechanic mechanism yet, I still don't know how to utilize the、uh, Panzers the best yet. I'm trying to encircle the Russians into pockets. You know, but、uh, I'm not too successful yet. So I just go ahead and video record maybe five or ten minutes of this gameplay. So、uh, I bet if I continue on, it's gonna get more difficult. The, the Russian winter's coming and all this kind of stuff. The Germans will not prepare for a、uh, for a winter, you know, offensive.、Uh, Try to get all the divisions under the、uh, the army group together. Not the army group. The uh, the uh, the superior headquarters together. So these guys are in the、uh, second Panzer um、uh, Panzer group. I don't even know where the headquarters is at. Let me make it bigger. Did、uh, I make it smaller instead? This is bigger. How come bigger is smaller? Okay, so whatever.、Uh, Where's the second Panzer headquarters? Oh, here, here, here we go. Here you are. So these guys, if I can, illuminate these two guys. Yeah, as I said, the uh, so the Panzer had click wrong button. They have to stay on the road. This one's weaker, so let me take this guy out. Yeah, yeah, it has a yellow bar. I guess if I can still attack, yes, I could. No idea what the odds mean, you know, in this game. So. Okay, they retreat a bit. I don't think I have enough points to move. Yeah, I still have to stay on the road. Can I attack? Up no more. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Ah.、Uh, so maybe if I can move this division up. Panzers, another Panzer unit. So if I can make it bigger, shoot, cannot attack our our point. Nope.、Uh, I think this is the marsh area. I don't have the map geographical、uh, legends. You know, as I said, there's no manual, but I think that's what it is. So、uh, another Panzer unit, unit, but these are no use. Yeah, I understand the world.
nothing, nothing to attack with. These are also under the second Panzer group. Yeah, all I can do is just, yeah, just. This is the fourth army, so different. Second. Okay, so this one, okay, is the infantry. Keep all these guys together the best I could. How about this guy? This is also the pencil, second pencil. Yeah. Yeah, so. This is fourth army, fourth army. So these guys. So let me move this guy. At least I know that to stay between five axes. This year I, I don't uh, stack it to the same hack so that I can recognize it better, find it better. Can I take this guy out? Maybe. Good. Eliminated this unit. At least I have a uh, pretty large opening here. I try to keep this a six army. Oh, gee, they're way off. I, I know I do with the six army headquarters. That eventually the six army they uh, headed into a starting grad, and uh, it was destroyed. Oh, here's you no, know, it was destroyed. The starting grad, the six army was the army group also that uh, went into Paris. Yeah. I have no idea what the Sixth Army headquarters is in. I don't worry about it later. Uh, let me do a little bit more than I found to. Uh, turn out the video. This is hopeless. At least. Uh, this is what. This is a third Panzer of the crew. Uh, let me take this guy out. Good. Uh, I'll try to keep all these units together. So this is what the second panzer group. Are these are the third panzer group. Okay. What's the headquarters? No idea. Oh, here you are. Yeah, as I said, I don't know if the headquarters to stay on the uh, row hacks or railroad hacks to uh, retain supply. No idea. Yeah, I think the Russians know what I'm trying to do. So uh, I try to prevent uh, to be stuck in a uh, pocket. I guess I can go just on my hands. Can I? I don't think so. Oh, yes, I could. Okay. Just kill all these guys together. Okay, now this guy might be isolated. <laughs> Stupid me. This is the four panzer group. Four, four pan this is really confusing. Yeah, I hope they are better. You know, uh, what's the word? Uh, graphical uh, indication on the contours, so I can see what unit they belong to. The ball games that I play, they have uh, different colored chips. So. Uh, Okay, this is going to take too much time from see. Uh, so in the old days when you play, you sort of have to sort of, you know, trace each one back to the headquarters 
and see where you should go and should not go, study the combat odds, whether you should attack or not, etc. So now, yeah, so, so I'm just <laughs> doing the best I could, but I guess the idea is still the same. <laughs> okay, all right. But the game's only for 18 bucks, you know, even the board games that come in uh, boxes, those cost now about $100 at least minimum per game. And uh, now all the hobby shops are gone, so you still can buy those online. And there are really only two uh, board game companies left, uh, GNT Games and uh, Mountain Man uh, Publishing. So. Yeah, so, see, so you can see sometimes these ball games are because of uh, a dying breed. Because not too many people play these games anymore. The non computerized versions just takes too much time. And every game rules are different, you know, so it's just too much hassle. So sometimes <laughs> I told Peggy, I just follow these stupid games just to look at the maps. Because they come with me really. The maps are not usually more colorful and so on, but the rules are just uh, too much. So if I'm retired someday, then okay, fine. Yeah, you throw dices also. <laughs> Since I don't gamble, you know, so I play dice, but not play board games instead. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off. <laughs> Probably getting boring for most of you guys. Uh, Let's see, I'll turn it off, start recording.